Over the course of 2019 so far, we have had plenty of rumours that Fernando Alonso possibly might return to Formula 1 pretty soon. And of course, considering how great Fernando is as a driver, that has got people very, very excited. But in today's video, I'm going to explain why Fernando Alonso returning to Formula 1 is not a good idea. By looking at the teams he could possibly join if he did return to Formula 1, and why it wouldn't really work out. So if you want to find out from me why Fernando Alonso returning to Formula 1 is a bad idea, then make sure to check out this video. Now if Fernando Alonso does return to Formula 1, there's only five teams where that could possibly happen. Let's first start off with the empire of Formula 1, the Mercedes-Benz Formula 1 team. A team who has dominated Formula 1 since 2014 and conquered all before them. And hey, if Fernando did go to that team, he would be finally for the first time in a while in a top, top car. And be teammates of Lewis Hamilton, who would not want to see that? And if you look at Fernando's history, he has a great history driving Mercedes-powered cars. I mean, don't you remember 2007? The year where Fernando took some brilliant race victories, went for the World Championship and had a great year with his new team at the time, McLaren. He loved the team, the team loved him, and he was great friends of course, wasn't he, with Lewis Hamilton. It was a match made in heaven. Of course, this is not what really happened. What really happened was him getting upset by rookie teammate Lewis Hamilton and falling out with him very quickly. Falling out with team boss Ron Dennis and the entire team by mid-season. And that's an accomplishment for Fernando Alonso who is notoriously hard to work with. And tends to eventually fall out with everyone. And because of that year where he drove for McLaren and was such a disgrace to the team with what he did... I just don't see why Mercedes would allow Fernando to join their team. Because you have to remember back in 2007, Mercedes as a company and an engine supply were big, big backers of McLaren. Which is why Fernando is not going to go to Mercedes. Turns out being a dick and ruining the reputations of massive companies actually affects your reputation. Who would have thought? And that's exactly why Fernando will not be driving for the Silver Arrows. But now we come to Ferrari. Now out of the five teams I'm going to look at, Ferrari is the most likely option in my opinion for Fernando to return to Formula 1. And if you look at Fernando's history at Ferrari, he did have success considering how bad the car was. Plenty of great and classic race wins. Challenged for the World Championship twice in cars that were not really that good. Certainly not good enough to actually win the championship. And despite the way it all ended, I think Fernando did do well at Ferrari. But going to Ferrari, or rather Ferrari hiring Fernando Alonso, is not a good idea. Because so far in 2019, Ferrari still have not won a race and are in a deep mess. Where most of the team is not performing to standard and the two drivers are slowly but surely getting fed up with the Ferrari car. Could you imagine if Fernando was in that Ferrari car that right now was not performing to standard? He would sink that team quicker than the iceberg sunk the Titanic. And he would plunge Ferrari into a deeper mess and into a full-blown crisis. I think you guys know what happens when Fernando is at a team that is not doing well. Things just get worse. So if Ferrari do have any brains at all, they will not hire Fernando Alonso and try to build the team around Charles Leclerc. But at the end of the day, this is Ferrari. Knowing them, they'll hire Fernando Alonso to a 10-year contract. You can never trust Ferrari to make the right decision. The next team on my list is Red Bull. Of course, powered by Honda, Fernando Alonso's best friend. Now, there are plenty of reasons why Fernando is never going to join Red Bull Racing. One, as Christian Horner has said, and it's absolutely true, wherever Fernando goes, trouble is right around the corner. Just look at the teams he has drove for. It's not a coincidence that trouble regularly appears where Fernando is. Also, obviously, Fernando is not a Red Bull Driver Academy driver and he's never been in the Red Bull Driver Academy. And there's no reason why Red Bull should give up on their young driver program when it's produced so many good drivers. 
So I don't see why they should break that for Fernando Alonso, who is almost 40 years old. But the biggest reason, of course, is Honda being their main supplier for power units. Because, of course, when Fernando drove for McLaren in his second stint at the team, Honda were powering them and Fernando was not approving of Honda. As he made plenty of comments, did Fernando, that were demoralising to Honda in trying to improve their power unit. And now that Honda have finally moved away from Fernando Alonso and are now in a good situation, why would they want Fernando to now be partners with them again? Because as I've said, once they left Fernando Alonso at the end of 2017, Honda have gone from being the worst engine supplier to actually a pretty good one. And midway through 2019, they finally won their first race in the V6 hybrid era. I can only imagine what Fernando's reaction was to that. But honestly, I don't think Honda's reaction to Fernando joining Red Bull would be that good. It'd be a similar situation to, say if you were a kid and you were bullied a lot by this other kid at school, you decided to move to another school and then once you got to that other school, soon after, the bully joined that school. That is not a situation Honda want to get themselves into and that's not why they came to Red Bull. So Fernando teaming up with Red Bull and Honda is not a good idea at all. Now the penultimate option for me is Renault but for me him going to Renault is something that shouldn't happen because we've seen this story before. Fernando of course has raced at Renault two times before between 2003 to 2006 and then 2008 and also 2009. And of course, he won his two world titles at Renault. So what does he have to prove if he goes to Renault? And Renault right now are not exactly moving up in Formula 1. So it wouldn't even be that good of a move. And also considering Fernando's last stint with the team and the PR that came with it at certain races, I don't think Renault would be that pleased to have Fernando Alonso join the team because they are still trying to distance themselves from the incident. I think you guys know what I mean by that. So Fernando can say au revoir to his seat at Renault. And the final option for me is him possibly going to McLaren. Now, if one of the drivers in 2019 out of Carlos Sainz or Lando Norris did not do that well, then maybe because of how the McLaren car has improved, maybe Fernando would come roaring back to McLaren. But McLaren, of course, for 2020 have already confirmed their new lineup, Norris and Sainz, and... The McLaren car is in a great place and I don't think McLaren want to go back to Fernando Alonso. McLaren are now trying to build for the future, not go back to the well of disappointment. And it is time McLaren moved on from Fernando Alonso because that era needs to be put away because it's not an era to be proud of. And hopefully Fernando can move on from McLaren too. Now for me, those are the only options for Fernando Alonso coming back into Formula 1 because the other teams, Haas, Alfa, Toro Rosso, Racing Point and Williams, would not be able to afford Fernando Alonso. I'm sure they'd love to have him because of how great he is, but they wouldn't be able to afford him in a million years. And if he's not going to join Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, Renault or McLaren, then maybe he could come in with Toyota if they ever come back, but that's probably not going to happen. But I have to say for Fernando, despite all of your great success and the great driver you are and the great presence you have been in the Formula 1 world, it's time to say goodbye. Adios amigo, it was fun having you. But let me know in the comments section guys, do you think Fernando should return to Formula 1? Is it a good idea for him to return to Formula 1? And where do you think he could go? Let me know in the comments and also comment down below what you thought of this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this as my next video is coming up in about two days' time where I'm going to be talking about whether Max Verstappen could, in the future, be involved in the GOAT conversation. So until that video, guys, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.